To work with the built-in art images in the software, open the Rico Design software on your computer and choose Advanced Designer. Choose the garment that you're going to be printing on. I'm going to choose Tote Bag. Choose your garment thickness so that the printer will know how much ink to put into the project while printing. Choose the plate that you're going to be using. The A4 is the one that comes with the printer, and the A5 is an optional small plate that you can purchase from any Juki dealer. So we're going to select A4, and I can print in portrait or landscape. We're going to choose landscape, and we're going to click OK. Now we're in the edit screen of the software and you'll see add art image. This is where you can locate all of the art files that are built into the software. So if I choose illustration, there are several pages of graphics that I can choose from. If you choose artwork, we have more options. And we have frames. If you choose frames, you have all of these choices to frame your photos or anything that you're going to be printing. A lot of different sizes, shapes for you to choose. So we're going to choose illustration. And I saw some balloons that I want to work with. So I'm going to go back and choose the balloons. They're now checked. Click OK, and they're going to be brought into the edit screen. I'm going to move them up, click on any of the circles, and enlarge these. And I want to choose the balloons again, so I'm going to go back to Illustration. I'm going to go back and click on those balloons one more time. Move those to the opposite corner and enlarge these as well. And I can click on any of the circles here to enlarge this. All right. So I want to go, I saw something in artwork, one of the callouts. And I'm going to go back and select that. So here it is. This is um, one of the graphics. They call them a callout where I'm going to put text in. Click OK. And I can bring this in and resize it. Now this one is going to allow me to resize unproportionally. You see where I can grab one of the side ones and move it. Or if I want a proportional, I'll grab one of the corners. So I can manipulate this graphic the way I want it to be. You notice if I go over here, I can select the color that I want this to be. Um, so let's just say, let this be a teal color. And now I want to add some graphics in here. Again, we can go to drawing and I have a pen that comes up and I can choose the color of the pen, the thickness of the pen, the transparency, and I could actually start drawing the letters. So if I wanted to sign something with my own handwriting or I wanted to customize a particular drawing, I could do that. I'm going to undo the drawing because I want to use the built-in text. So if I click on text, I now have font and color. So I'm going to choose font. There are 14 built-in fonts here. So choose one of the fonts. Click where you want to start the typing. And I'm going to type happy. Click off of it to set it. And then I can resize it. If I click color, I can go choose the color that I want it to print. I'm going to choose a red. And then I want to put birthday under here. So I'm going to go back and select text, font. It will remember the last font you used. So I'm just going to click birth and type in birthday. Click off of it to set it. And then I can resize. 
Now again, here is a graphic that will allow you to unproportionally resize. So if you want it to be look different, you can. And you can just play with that until you get the look that you want. And maybe I want this to be a different color, so I've clicked on it. I'm going to go to color, and I think I want this to be green. Now, if I go up here and go, you know, don't like that font. I want to change fonts. All you have to do is go back and select font, and when you click on a different font, You'll see the changes. It's very easy. You don't have to do anything but click on it and it'll make the changes for you. And I can go back and change the color at any time. So I like the way that looks, but now I want to put the name down here of the person who is, who's having the birthday. Go back to text. Go back and choose my font. And this time I want to use impact. And let's just put Megan. Happy birthday, Megan. Click off of it to set it. And now I can resize this any width that I want. So maybe I, I have chosen a tote bag, but maybe I wanted to put this on a piece of fabric and create a banner. I can do that. Click color. Go back and select the color that you want Megan to print out in. And at any time I can go up to the top and go preview and I can see what it's going to look like when it's printed. I'm going to go back to edit. But there's still a few things that maybe I want to do to this. If I click on the balloons, you notice I have my editing features here. I can go to auto adjust and the software will make an adjustment. If I like that, I can proceed. If not, I can turn it off and it'll go back to the original. I can blur the edges. This has a white edge, so blur edges really isn't, you're not gonna notice anything there. I can change the contrast, the brightness. I can rotate those balloons 45 degrees. I could crop if I wanted to crop something out. I'm going to use contrast and brightness. I like to work with contrast first. And if you'll look, you'll see how those balloons are becoming more vivid in color or more pastel. When you're using contrast, the printer is going to put more ink when it's printing. So you're going to get the more vivid color. I'm going to click these and click contrast. And now those they're going to print with a little more ink so they'll be a little bit brighter. I can also adjust the brightness here if I want them more pastel or I want them really dark. Kind of like the way it was in the middle. So you have editing options with your graphics here. And we've used the built-in images, the graphic images that come with the software to create this banner. Preview. And I am ready to print. I'm going to go back to edit. If I click on any of the text and I need to make any changes, I can easily go back and change this. Maybe I've decided I wanted to see what a different font looked like. And I think I like the impact. Maybe I want to see what a different color would look like. It's easy to go back and change this. Once you have it the way you want it, you click on print. This will allow you to print it or save it. I always like to save my designs in case I want to come back and print them later. The printer that comes up is the Ricoh RI100. That will always be the printer that shows up here. Your print quality, I just print at fine. Um, you can change this if you choose to. If you click save, Navigate to the folder that you want to save this to. Give it a name and we will call this Megan. It's going to save it as a DAT file because that's the file that the software will read later on. And we're going to save it. Now we can go to print. 
print. It will send this to the printer and when the printer is ready to print, a blue light will flash letting you know that it's ready for you to print. Now, if you want to print another one of these or you want to go back and work with this some more, you can click print one more or if you click go back to the top, it will take you back to the beginning of the software. So I'm going to go back to print one more. Now I said earlier that we can select any of the built-in fonts. There's 14 built into the software, but what if you want to use a font that the software doesn't have? You can create anything in any graphics program such as Paint and add any of the fonts that are built into Paint. Paint will let you pull up your true type fonts on your computer. So you could create your wording using those fonts, save it as a, a picture, a JPEG or a PNG, and then bring it in and you'll be ready to print from that. So I have saved this, it's ready to print. So I wanna show you how to go back and find your design once you have it saved. If you click top, it'll take you back to the beginning of your software. I've already saved this, so I'm okay with it being deleted. And you will see load saved data. When you click on this, it will take you to the folder where you have saved your data. Now, if it doesn't go directly to that folder, just go to your folder that you have created that you're saving your, your designs in. And you'll see these are all the designs that I have saved. They're all saved in the DAT format. So I can pull this back up and it's ready for me to print again. So this one I wanted to print, I printed it first on a tote bag, but this time I might wanna print it on something different, maybe a sweatshirt. And I had created this before and now I could print. So again, I can go back, go to load saved data, and open a design that I've previously saved. So that's how easy it is to save your designs and to find them later.